wild reaches of northern Arizona is the country that the Navajo Indian calls home. It is a picturesque, even beautiful country, this semi-arid land where the Navajo still dwells with the customs of his forefathers. Deep in this Navajo country, reached only by those whose spirit of adventure encourages them to take a day ride into this remote area, is a place where the ancient past comes right up against the present and stops. Under the protective canopy of this carved and etched sandstone cliff is a ghostly city nestled against the canyon wall. This is Keat Seal, the castle of the ancient ones. The village is reached by today's visitor in much the same way that the ancients ascended to their home in the cliff. This area with its precious record of people long vanished is under the careful protection of the National Park Service and only parties with a Park Service guide are permitted to wander among the ruins. Less than a thousand persons have visited Keat Seal. This must have been Main Street, flanked with buildings so old that they represent a past that few of us can comprehend. But that past acquires an eerie reality as visitors peer into dwellings and rooms where 700 years ago children played, women cooked and sewed, and tired husbands home from the hunt petulantly inquired, where's dinner? Our Navajo Park Service guide knows much of the story told by these crude dwellings. Actually, Keat Seal was once a city, for it sheltered an entire tribal group, very possibly with their own civilization. Because of the size and height of the rooms, archaeologists know that the residents were small in stature. It's also evident that these people lived in a definite communal pattern probably governed by a strict code of behavior. Otherwise, living under these crowded conditions would have been virtually impossible. Here's an apartment with a view. Crude though their construction methods were, most of the walls have withstood the ravages of the centuries very well, and the pattern of the city is as evident today as it must have been when the city fathers laid it out and built it. The walls of the kiva, or ceremonial house, are almost as good today as they were in ancient times, only the roof is gone. These people made many of their walls of rocks set in mud. Pole rafters set in mud walls leave only holes as evidence. Along with the mud, wood was commonly used, particularly to shape doorways and for upright supports for walls as well as rafters. Much of the wood remains in a remarkable state of preservation one of the many clues archaeologists have to estimate the period of these ruins. The ancient people have vanished in the haze of the past. In addition to Keat Seal, there are many places throughout the Southwest where other ancients of different civilizations such as this one called Batarican, have left traces of their life and times, graphic pages of past history. <laughs>